Hi everyone. Welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lukendra Kumar and today I'm going to show you how you can extract faster sequence of any protein molecule using PyMol. I'm sure that uh, you know how to extract the faster sequence using Uniprot. You can also extract faster sequence using Protein Data Bank. I'm I'm going to show you uh, the both ways using Uniprot also using the Protein Data Bank. But it is very handy if you use this particular command that I'm going to show you in this video. And using PyMol and using that specific command, you can extract the faster sequence. And if you delete any part of the protein, you can still extract the faster sequence of the remaining part. So it becomes really useful when you're trying to analyze the structure. Okay, so let me first go to the website of protein data bank and then we will we will just discuss the structure that i'm processing today as you can see this is the structure and i'm also going to show you the same thing using uniprot so it's going to be very handy uh, if i show you how to use that specific command and extract the faster sequence all right let's first go to the protein data bank website as you can as you can see here I am at this specific page where this is the structure that I am trying to analyze using PyMol and uh, trying to extract the faster sequence what is this structure this structure is mouse to like receptor 3 ectodomain complex with double standard RNA molecule like receptors they are the molecules that uh, are involved in immune uh, immune signaling basically they are involved in sensing various molecules that are secreted by bacteria and some of the molecules that are the part of the viral uh, viral assembly it could be proteins it could be uh, genetic material like uh, double standard RNA molecule I like uh, working with toll-like receptor. I have done some research during my PhD with toll-like receptor 4 and uh, I found this structure very interesting and I want to basically analyze this structure. So, all right, so what you can do is you can extract faster sequence right away from here, right? It's very easy. You click on this and you will see that faster sequence is getting downloaded and this is the file that that shows shows you the whole sequence and you have the sequence of the RNA molecule you have the sequence of the protein all right this is one way to get the faster sequence second way is you can go to uniprot website and then you you can type toll like receptor 3 and you will uh, you will basically will visit this page and if you go down you have to you know drag your cursor down and you can see here you have the structure that i was talking about and uniprod gives you uh you know the if there is another structure available for example i have second structure available for this molecule and this is monomeric structure it is not complex with the double strand rna molecule so i can i can use this structure if i want to analyze the monomeric like receptor 3 I can use this structure if I want to analyze the dimeric uh, toll like receptor and if I want to know the sequence of this uh, uh, single standard uh, sorry double standard RNA molecule I can also do that right and you can also get the faster sequence from this website very easily here is the faster sequence as you can see and you can download the faster sequence from here and it gives you the full faster sequence of the protein uniprot gives you the faster sequence of the protein and if you want to have the uh, faster sequence of the rna you can use protein data bank now i'm i'm going to show you how you can do the similar stuff using pymol right so here i have imported the structure and uh, i'm sure you have seen my previous videos basically you can use this code to import the structure uh, let me show you if i delete 
this object so I don't have any object right now so you I can use fetch space and then write the code which is 3 C I Y for this protein and enter when I press enter it's gonna import the structure as you can see immediately the structure has been imported in the pymol and if I click on air if I go to the uh, right side here if I click on s I will get the full sequence so you have this specific uh, sequence of the RNA right and it's getting selected you can see very clearly that this part is the double standard RNA molecule now rest is the uh, the part where you have the protein sequence okay so what is the command that I'm going to use this remember this particular command I will post this command in the disc description section so you can directly copy this and use it to extract the uh, faster sequence so if I copy this it's basically is going to grab the sequence of the protein and also it's going to grab the sequence of the uh, RNA molecule so I'm just pasting this particular command and since it's saying all so whatever uh, molecules that are present right now and uh, I am analyzing these molecules they are going to appear you will see let me press enter here you can clearly see after uh, you know processing this command the software provided me the sequence of the new uh, the double standard RNA molecule as well as chain A and chain B for toll like receptor 3 here very convenient so you don't have to visit to the website you can you you can do this particular function in PyMol now another thing that I want to mention is you can basically delete some part of this molecule and still you can use this this command to get the faster sequence so as you can see there are these molecules these NAG molecules and acetyl glucosamine molecules I I will delete these additional molecule first what I'm going to do is select and go to all remove atoms now you can see I have uh, cleared those small molecules now if I click directly on the chain and I delete this particular chain you will see here now I, I only have chain one and the double standard RNA molecule right okay now I want to remove the RNA molecule as well so I've selected this now I'm removing this so now I have the monomeric structure clear monomeric structure and uh, what will happen if I use that specific command so in PyMol if you are running a specific command you can basically use the arrow and you and uh, the same command will appear and enter you can see now it's only showing me the chain B so you can basically identify what chain you are processing using PyMol it's very important when you're doing analysis with PyMol all right what if I delete some part of this structure so now I'll go to the residue because I'm going to select individual red residues so here you can see it's getting selected and I almost selected close to the uh, maybe half of this molecule let's let's do that okay now I will go to the a that is action remove atoms now I have small part of that particular molecule left and you can see if I use the same command again then the sequence let me just maybe zoom in here right you can see it's smaller so you know that what part you have deleted and what is left so it's very convenient 
you know otherwise i know it's very difficult uh, when you're trying to do you know removing the section of the atom or analyzing some part of the molecule and here you can basically then uh, have the section that is available for you to process using pymo so i thought uh, i should share this particular tip or trick for you and uh, it is very helpful for me to analyze my structure i hope it's going to help you and uh, if you like this particular video then you know please press the like button and if you like the content of the channel then do subscribe to the channel i'll i'll see you in my next video where i will bring similar kinds of videos similar kinds of topics and uh, i want you to stay tuned to the channel and support the channel thank you and take care